Today is uh, September 10th, 2016. I'm going to do a quick review of the front uh, garden. And uh, uh, yesterday, um, I wasn't feeling very well. You know, something was, uh, something has upset my stomach. It made me uh, remember a time when I was, uh, had a stomach flu over in Israel, actually. Um, I'd eaten a, a swarma before a party, and then I went out to this party and I just got sick. And I had to be taken back to where I was staying. But uh, it turned out the whole uh, midrashah where I was staying, uh, a lot of people were getting uh, a stomach flu. But uh, after that, I didn't need a swarma for uh, months and months. Actually, actually, I think it was a might have been years. But uh, so that's kind of what was happening with me yesterday. I had some type of stomach upset. Uh, it might have been something I eat. It might have been uh, a stomach flu. It might have been some uh, wild mushrooms. But uh, anyway, whatever it was, it made me remember that time back in Israel. So I'm going to... It was also been raining like crazy uh, the last couple of days. And so I'm going to show you that here let's see real quick because these flowers these flowers look at that they have responded I was thinking I was to the end of my flowers but look at that these are more beautiful than at any time this year it's the cooler weather wow I'm gonna have to come back and take some still photos of these but I'm very impressed now that I'm noticing the flowers. Like I said yesterday, I didn't even get out of the house. I didn't do much of anything, actually. But look at this. Part of the reason I wanted to do the video was I've mentioned a number of times my squash have been terrible this year. But... I'm so excited to see these squash and here let me open my knife you hear that click and wow this is the you see that guy here let's cut them squash you need to cut the vine I mean the stem at can you is that too bright out here but look, that's a beautiful squash. Now, you can eat squash, of course, fresh, stir fry, I mean, in stir frying things. But you can also put it in, you can can it with your tomatoes. So I picked a few tomatoes earlier, and look at this guy. He's been on the ground because the, but look how healthy the bush looks this tomato I never did tie it up maybe that was a bit of a mistake you can see how the roly-polies have been eaten on my tomato and also the the moisture has split it but that's a beautiful tomato I'm gonna cut off what's been eaten and use that so here let's look again there's a couple more down there I'm not I could cut them I could give them away so looks like Wow, and you can see my cucumbers, they look so happy. I wonder when I'm going to get my first cucumber. But do you see that? They're going up the uh, trellis, the structure I built. And these are supposed to be potatoes, but look, I don't see any, that looks like a weed. All I see is tomato plants. So, <laughs> what's with that? More tomatoes. What was the, there's supposed to be a potatoes coming up. I do, this one is coming up over here. That is potatoes. So, I don't know, they may have all rotted on me, my potato seeds. 
but here this is a potato here he's doing good so but look tomatoes tomato tomato so if I get tomatoes from those this year it's usually tomato plants grow so slow it takes months so I don't expect them to produce but look over here tomatoes so we got tomatoes that need to be picked a few not like it had been before but you see that guy and look how the the leaves have gotten so bright and green again so they're second growth and like I said, it didn't come out yesterday, so, uh-oh, look at that okra. Look how, oh, the sun is so bright there. Can you, can you even see that guy? I'll come back through. I won't, I won't harvest those right now, but they are so tall. They may be too, like this one. Oh, look at that. That's way too long. It's still soft, though. That one's about the right length. Maybe another inch. This one is way too long. But he's soft at the moment. So they're growing real quick. And wow. I'll come back through and harvest this okra. I wanted to talk to you also about some other things. Huh? Here's some wire. I wanted to talk to you about some other things here. Not the greenhouse, even though the greenhouse. Let's see what we have here to show you. Ah, uh, these collards. Still could do something with them, but I don't have any desire. You can see the peppers. A lot of flowers. Can you see that one? Oh, oh, that's not nice. Well, I hope I didn't ruin a pepper just then probably did shouldn't have touched it you see the peppers up there see that guy these uh poblana poblano something like that peppers and look i'm so happy with my these cucumbers are really taken off the vines anyway so here in uh i expect two weeks i should have all kinds of cucumbers we'll see what happens with those and do you see these uh, green beans in here let's see can you see them or is that too much sunlight so I've got all these uh, pole beans look you see them I need to come out and harvest those guys and some bush beans look at those I was about to pull up all these bush beans, but I guess after I harvest, I probably will. I want to actually plant in some type of green manure in this area once I uh, get the last harvest of bush beans. And, oh, do you see that? Do you see those pole beans off of my apple tree there? <laughs> that is too funny. So no apples this year because I cut it back so hard last year. But I'm getting pole beans in my apple tree. So that's funny to me. I uh, type, do you see this? Can you see that string? Uh, I came out a little bit earlier and tied back my... Uh, I was having such trouble walking through here. So I tied back my sunflower. And if you remember last week, the sunflowers were so strong. But look, the flowers have greatly decreased. But we have these, the seeds. And they're such a small head. So here soon, what I did want to talk to you about is basil. I've had so much basil this year. What happened was uh, two years ago, a friend of mine had all these basil plants that were given to her 
because the plants were dying at the store and she was just going to harvest the leaves but I nabbed a few of the plants and replanted them and they started to grow and then I grabbed the seeds so these basil plants are from those plants those seeds that I had saved and you can see some seeds right here I need to come out and collect I've been slow on collecting the basil seed this year but if you look online there's tons of great benefits from basil I've been using it in just my tea I like to have tea so if you throw in some basil it, it gives a nice flavor but as you guys can see the basil just has a beautiful smell to it if you and evidently basil if you grow a lot of basil around your garden it's good on keeping out insects so as you can see the basil plant here and this is oregano and I need to do use it more I'm not you know I'm kind of a hobbit gardener I'm not the best of gardeners I'm learning but I did learn that if you plant basil all over your garden it keeps out a lot of the bad insects and I do believe it has helped me this year in a great way so look at those flowers so that's the thought today is you should be growing basil all over your garden it's not only does it have tremendous uh, health benefits even if you're trying to top stop <laughs> If you're trying to stop smoking, they say that if you chew basil, that'll help. But it's also really good for uh, like your respiratory, breathing. Uh, look online. There's a lot of great uh, health benefits from uh, anxiety, taking, taking care of anxiety. Um, helping your stomach uh, anyway if you look on that it's supposed to even help with cancer so there's a lot of uh, health benefits if you go to YouTube and uh, just look listen to some of those videos uh, it's good in your tea for a lot of reasons kind of like a mint mints also good and look you see all that water you see that that's about at least three inches of water I think on the back side it may be shallower than on this side on this side is four inches back there it's about two and a half inches but that little pool has a lot of water in it and this is from the last two days so I'll pour that out here soon in the garden maybe tomorrow when it dries up a little bit so the peppers out here let's see do we have any peppers growing I know I've harvested a couple I don't see I don't see as many peppers that I'd like to see that's for sure I see a flower there some of these are black beauty and some of them are poblano and I don't see actually any peppers on these except that little one there so that's sad but I do see some tomatoes here you see that tomato there boom you see them oh there's that Sun kind of the angle of the Sun isn't the best so anyway I think that's gonna be it for today I do like the I do like that do you see those pole beans that is too too fun to see them growing so that's growing off and hanging on to my uh, sunflowers so it looks like sunflowers and pole beans do real well my corn and the pole beans did not do well and you can see the couple of strings that I just tied to my sunflowers so that I can walk through here because they were bending over so low they were block blocking my path so I'll probably come out tomorrow tomorrow when I'm feeling a little better to uh, pick those those beans those whole beans and bush beans and I'm so like I said I've got all of this basil and I've got it also growing like crazy 
in my greenhouse and in my backyard and uh, evidently is really good to chew on even though I don't chew on it but I do put it in my tea and in my tomatoes of course you know Italians always put basil in their tomato sauces it just makes it taste better so I hope you guys are growing basil too okay that's plenty of rambling I even told two stories today and uh, that's well actually one story one story and a discussion on basil you guys probably knew the benefits of basil maybe not I didn't really know a lot about basil I still don't know a lot about it but uh, I hope that's a good angle I hope you guys are seeing how beautiful that plant is and how healthy so I'm gonna pick some of this basil and go and make some tea okay and I'll cut some tomatoes up and make some soup Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.